Do you ever think about where the things you buy come from? If you're anything like most Americans, including me, you probably didn't give it much thought until two years ago when supply chain issues impacted your shopping habits. We are spoiled with abundance and we often don't think about the supply chains, logistics, and labor practices that culminated in the 12 slight variations of peanutless peanut butter staring at us in aisle seven. The pandemic laid bare the truth about just how interconnected our world and supply chains are and how issues in the supply chain half a world away have astounding ripple effects. When you start learning about personal finance though, there's often a focus on buying things as cheaply as possible. In one particularly humorous episode of Ramit Sethi's podcast, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, he interviews a man with a net worth of eight million dollars who refuses to buy batteries anywhere but the dollar store because he doesn't want to overpay. This leads many of us with the positive intent of saving as much money as possible to buy the lowest priced option in any category, whether that be the suspiciously cheap paper towels on Amazon or the store brand spice jar with questionable origins. 